Welcome back to the Wilson Brothers channel. I'm David. This is Isaac. What's up, guys? Today we're reacting to something wild. Wild. <laughs> Apparently, a Carolina Reaper or really spicy food can give you brain damage. It's a really great feeling once you finally just give up. Do you guys know what the Carolina Reaper is? It's the hottest pepper in the world. Pepper X actually just beat it, but it's in South Carolina. It's really spicy. I'm really curious to see how this is. Really spicy. After we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're going to all eat a Carolina Reaper paper. But don't forget to subscribe because we come out with content Monday through Friday and you do not want to miss a thing. But let's get started because Dr. Andrew Huberman is on Joe Rogan. So we got to see what this is all about. Let's get it. A few years back, somebody ate a Carolina Reaper and ended up with what's called thunderclap headache. Thunderclap headache is a massive inflammation of the meninges of the brain. So you got your brain, it's sitting in fluid, everyone knows that. And then there's some thick dura stuff around it. The the swelling of the meninges is what happened to this person. They got an unbelievable headache, and it's actually inflammation-induced brain damage. Now, that's only eating a, an extremely hot pepper in huge quantities. We know a couple other things about spice, and it's an amazing set of discoveries that just occurred really in the last 10 years. We know that all those pathways go to areas of the brain that are involved in, of course, like behavior. Like if you touch something really hot, or you taste something really hot, for most people, they're going to resist that. But also to the hypothalamus, which houses all these hormone control areas, etc. People who can talk tolerate stronger spice, men and women, we know it's correlated with higher levels of circulating testosterone. What we're really talking about is higher pain threshold. So if people gain better at eating hot peppers, they're better at dealing with all types of pain. So, all right, let's so talk. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the Viking who is not here, I'm calling he's, you He's Viking. a wuss when it comes to spice. He can't handle mild buffalo sauce. Yeah, so when we get to 100,000 subscribers and he eats the Carolina Reaper pepper, he's going to lose his mind. He's going to cry like a little girl. Which like I, a little girl. I love you, Viking. <laughs> But hold on, I've had the third hottest sauce in the world. But you haven't had a Carolina Reaper. This is worse. This was th two to three times Tell hotter. us your story. Oh, I was in the mountains. <laughs> the good of old where, mountains. What mountains? Where? Of, uh, where Tennessee. was Tennessee. We were in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Ga Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Tennessee. We were on a family vacation. We had a j beautiful... Beautiful cabin overlooking the mountains. Wraparound terrace. Hot tub below. This it was, was beautiful. This was three years ago. But what happened happened is there we went to we went into the town and there was this hot pepper Pe place pepper palace called pepper palace yep they made most of their own stuff but they had the hottest things they had to make ever. you sign a waiver there was this guy that was checking us out not physically you know what i mean but he was actually checking us out of the counter <laughs> <laughs> and he said that he had done three to four one chip challenges at once he said he had done all the hottest stuff. He got to a point where he literally lost his taste buds. And his taste buds burned off. He couldn't taste anything for years. Yeah. And so he had to stop eating spicy stuff in order to get them back. This dude was a maniac. It was crazy. So I asked him. You had to sign a waiver, by the way. I had to sign a waiver. I said, what is the hottest thing here? He pulled out two things. <laughs> two things. One was a lollipop, which is actually kind of... Well, what was it called? The devil's... I don't know, but all it the was... The devil's tongue or devil's it, anus or something? The devil's anus? It was something very It was close something to that. crazy. Yeah. But it was concentrated Carolina Reaper and pure cap casein, which is the hot so the hotness measuring, of it. Measuring. Yeah. But it was pure liquid of that yeah. into a lollipop. And he said, you have to break it up into pieces and take a little smig of it. And he said, even then, you're only supposed to put it in something. But what I had is a hot sauce called The End. What would what did the end look like? It looked like a heartbeat monitor that went like this and then just died off. <laughs> and it was called the end, as I said. The end. And he said it was the third hottest sauce in the world. And he said it was two to three times hotter than a Carolina Reaper pepper. <laughs> and he said, you're not supposed to actually put it in your mouth. You're supposed to put one or by two. By itself. By itself. He said you're supposed to put one or two drops in chili. A giant pot of chili. And he said it would make the entire pot hot. <laughs> Imagine that. So we take it back to our little cabin. And I, again, at this point, I had been building up my tolerance for months. I had the hottest sauces on wings, all sorts of stuff. I had the one chip You challenge. thought you were the man. I thought I was the man. Yeah. But I had balls. You, you came to a really stark contrast. So Isaac smeared some on a spoon. Yeah. He just put uh, several drops on a spoon, smeared it around. And apparently you had like a pin prick it was nothing. i had a, a yeah i had a pin prick. it was nothing he gave it to me and i'm like oh i've tried the hottest stuff i lick that spoon and utter panic within 20 seconds what did it feel like 
I can't explain it. It yeah, was you an can't. Act. It explain was, it. You felt like it had to end or you were going to end. <laughs> so that's the, the, the bottle. So the, the, the name of the bottle made sense. It said the end. I thought I was going <laughs> to die. So I tried drinking milk. Didn't help at all. <laughs> and the guy at that sold us this said that what you want to do is do a spoonful of raw sugar, let it sit in your mouth for about a minute, and then you know drink something to wash it down. That makes I, sense. I had to do that three or four times. But then 30 minutes later, when finally the hotness in my mouth dissolved and I was okay, I was shaking like I had a fever. So it was utter panic. I have never felt anything like that. Did you throw that. up? I did not throw up. And so the next day, you and my brother-in-law went to back to this guy and told him about this story. Yeah. And again, you can any details I missed, but it, the guy said, did he throw up? And you said no. And he was like, respect. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, we went back and David was obviously not capacitated. He couldn't go. I had like a fever the next day. Yeah, he day. wasn't it feeling. It completely messed me yeah, up. Yeah, he wasn't feeling good. So we went back and we were having like all kinds of taste tests. And the guy was like, so how did your brother f- like feel about this? And we're like, well... I mean, he's not feeling good right now, but <laughs> the guy was like, yeah, do you throw up? And we're like, no. He's like, yeah, respect. That, that was actually this pretty impressive. This guy had his taste buds burnt off, and he said respects me for that. Like, even just what Huberman's saying about the fact that if you have a Carolina Reaper or like something really, really spicy like that, you can get brain damage. Oh, my gosh. That's what I mean. Thunderclap thunder syndrome in your brain. He That's sa- crazy. But he says it has to be a lot. Like, it has to be over a long period of time. It can't just be, oh, you take one hot pepper and yeah. you get brain damage. Yeah. But my question is, are people that always do spicy stuff, do they become more stupid? I don't think it's that they become more stupid. I think Brain that, damage? Yeah, but if they're having like 12... I think it depends on how many Carolina Reapers you're having. But for a lot of men, even he said the positive side of it can actually increase your testosterone. So Viking, who's not here... Viking, do we're I calling have, you out right now. Do I have more testosterone than the Viking? He might be bigger than me. I mean, I'm a big, I'm a big dude, but he has <laughs> biceps. Do I have more testosterone than you? Just I because don't, I you, don't, I don't know if that's a fair comparison. I mean, science. Science is important. If you're having a really spicy pepper like that, I mean, you know what? <laughs> we, we can all come to our own conclusions here, but. That's actually a really interesting concept. I didn't think that a spicy pepper could give you or interact with and potentially give you more testosterone. I mean, we all think about how it affects our stomach, but how does it it affect our manliness? That's, I mean, we do certain things for manliness. Yeah, we do. Unfortunately, (laughs) obviously guys, spicy peppers are crazy. They testosterone. Hopefully it will boost your testosterone, but don't go crazy. Don't get all these crazy peppers and just throw them in your mouth and see what happens. No, Obviously, do that we're go- because you are a man on a mission but we are, and you will not let this world define but who we, you can be. Shut up. Hey, but what we're going, I will burn you alive. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to do a Carolina Reaper when we reach 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. Guys, we really appreciate you guys yeah. watching this. If you find value in this video and you find it hilarious, Maybe you think it's stupid. Subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Or maybe Isaac looks like he's sleepy from Snow White. Snow White. He looks. She's like, just getting me. His a, eyes she's getting me a crazy tantrum. I just can't stop falling in love with Brett Cooper. It's a real thing. But we love you guys, even though I don't know you. <laughs> but we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.